welcome back everybody to another video on my z so on today's video we're going to be talking a little bit more in depth on the whole na the tt stuff i already uh have some of it some of that stuff put together but there's just a few little things that need to be done uh for this conversion um one of the main ones is these plugs right here these are they have like a little spring on them but these we need to get these two out and have plugs that i got from concept z that we need to install there uh there's something else with the oil tree and then with the oil pump but um i'll talk about that once we get to it but the main thing is we have to get these guys out Oh, wherever they went. So these are the plugs that I need to install right there where the oil tree is supposed to go. Then uh, we still got the oil tree gasket, the rear main uh, little cover gasket that we need to do. But to do the rear main cover, I'm going to have to take the engine off the, the engine stand because there's no, there's no room for that right there. There might be a little bit of room, but it's going to be pretty tight. I'd rather just take it off the stand and do it that way then i'll put it back probably so that i could do the oil pan um but anyways yeah what we need to do first is get these things out and last time it was a pain in the ass to get out um i think what we used was one of those tools that you used to pull out a, a pilot bushing um with a slide hammer and even then it was still a pain in the ass. Uh, we had to like fish a lot of this little thing, like little pieces of this thing out. So we'll see right now how I get it out. Maybe it could do it easier with just a small screwdriver and some pliers, but we'll see how that goes. Oh wow, check that out. Let's see if we can do the same to the other one. That was actually pretty easy. Here's the pieces that I got out. And this one came out super easy. But this one took a little while. I had to break it off into a few pieces and I still need to clean out those, uh, those little, I don't know, ports, whatever they are for the oil. I need to clean them out because there's still like little pieces in there. But since I gotta take off one of those plugs and that's where one of our fittings for our uh, turbo feeds go, then uh, you know we'll be, be okay. So this fitting right here, I already got it loose. This one comes off. So if you had an NA, it would be like this. If you have a twin turbo, it would have another fitting there. But anyways, I'm just gonna blow uh, some brake brake cleaner, cle uh, some brake cleaner through here to make sure that there's nothing else in there. I'm pretty sure I got most of it, but there's like just little, I don't know, little shiny bits that are left inside. Just to make sure there's no more crap in there. Mm. 
Yeah, it looks like there is no more. So we're good now. We can put those plugs in. This is a part number for those plugs that you need. They sell a few different plugs and I have no idea what the other ones are for, but I had ordered a, a set of them originally and they didn't fit. So I don't know what they went to, but these are the correct ones. And then you can see that one side is like, let's see if I can get it. One side, it has like a little, that shape to it. The other side's completely flat. The completely flat side is the side you want outside, so. Goes in like that. And just need to get something to tap it in. So just an extension will do. Just tap it in. The ones that I originally put in the first time kind of just fell in. Like it, there was no uh, resistance. These have to be pressed in a little, so. Don't be scared to hammer it hard. Uh, leave that one for now. I think that's just about where I had the other ones where it's about flush. And now that end, let's see, that end goes in flat side towards you. Put that one in there too. Let's tap this one in too. Remove this. Wait a little bit. That right there looks good. They're a little bit in more than flush, but that's gonna be good. That's as far as they went. Here's the fitting. Make sure I put some Teflon on it. So now that I got all that done, I just need to clean up the oil tree a little bit and uh, I'm gonna put it on there. I probably won't bolt it up yet just because I don't remember if I had to put the put something else on first like if the turbo and the manifold is gonna get in the way. I can't remember. Something like that happened. Uh, the other thing that I finally got oil pan fixed. One of my buddies uh, fixed it for me where it had been leaking left it sitting with water overnight and said that it didn't leak anymore so I just got to clean it up now before we uh, put this on so now that, now that I talked about that uh, since we're gonna put the oil tree back on you're supposed to shim you're supposed to put shims right here on the oil tree this bolt comes off you put washers in there to shim it uh, you do this and then you do the same thing on the oil pump. And uh, the oil pump has a bolt too that comes out that has a spring in there and you shim it a certain amount. I can't remember right now exactly, but I'll look back into my old videos and I'll put it on the screen. But it's a certain amount of washers that make up however many millimeters. But uh, that, uh, when you shim it, brings up the oil pressure. Um, so, yeah, so that's... Uh, one of the other things you gotta do. So next, what I'm gonna do, I gotta clean this oil pan. Um, and I got the engine on the engine stand already so that I could put the rear main uh, on, the little cover with the rear main seal. Then we can put it back on the engine stand and we can install the rest of it. But um, 
Might as well talk about the oil pump. So the oil pump that you're gonna need to run is a twin turbo oil pump. I already had it from my other engine, so obviously didn't have to get that again. Uh, this bolt right here is the one that you take off, uh, that you put uh, washers in there to shim uh, the oil pump to believe now, I looked back and it said four millimeters. So here I got the oil pan pretty clean. Uh, I've been running gas in there. Uh, trying to get as much crap out of there as I can. I'll be using a little magnet that I got and shoving it in any areas that I can to pull out uh, any metal shavings since the other engine did uh, get destroyed. You can barely see, but that's all the stuff that's been coming out. A bunch of little metal shavings. I'm just going to keep doing that until I don't get any more. I'm pretty close. I'm barely seeing anything anymore. And the gas is, is clean. It was looking kind of muddy at first. One of the things I didn't show was uh, when I first took the oil pan out, uh, I found all the chunks of, uh, I believe, piston that are in that were in there, or whatever this may be. It looks like, like piston. But that's gonna be fun when I take the other engine apart. So I'm gonna be taking the other one apart to see if there's anything salvageable on that one. Uh, I'm just hoping on that one, the crank and, well, the crank and maybe the heads. If the crank and the heads are good, then maybe I can make something work out of the other two engines that I have, so. This is pretty much almost done, and uh, I'm gonna leave this for a little bit, and I'm gonna go put the rear main on now. There we go, now I got oil pan on, all the bolts snug down, I just don't have them completely tightened down. I'm gonna wait a little bit uh, before I completely tighten it down just because it's, it's a little bit cold outside and uh, I'm gonna wait for this to get a little, a little tackier before I completely tighten them down. So we're just gonna wait for that a little bit, tighten that down, turn the engine back over and then I can start uh, working on cleaning these these uh heads so i could put the new exhaust manifold gaskets on and then get all the turbo stuff on Okay, so I got the exhaust manifolds on, oil tree on, oil pan on, and uh, I'm almost ready to put the, the turbos and uh, downpipes on with like well, this whole assembly thing, how I took it off. But I got the, I gotta put the motor mounts, uh, the motor mount brackets on. And this is the one motor mount bracket that I uh, modified so that it would fit that turbo. Uh, you can see, kind of where I cut it. Well, you can really see where I cut it, but uh, you see that part and then I got the other one right here. You can see that whole section right there that they got cut out. So when you're doing this, you just gotta cut that, that section out right there so that you can fit, so that the, um, the wastegate will fit It'll clear otherwise. I mean, even with it cut out like this, it gets pretty close, but that's the only way it'll fit with these turbos. Obviously, if you went with some stock turbos, then you wouldn't have to do any of that, any of that modification, but this is for these uh, cheaper turbos. So now 
I'm gonna put these on and put those turbos and uh, down pipes and other pipes on. Uh, then we could take this thing off the stand so I could put the clutch in. So now, here's everything pretty much uh, put together for the turbo. We got, see there's that. This line here is the, one of the feeds. It goes up in there. So it wraps, it goes, uh, that would be behind the AC compressor bracket. It goes under the turbo, above the drain tube, and then right up there. And you can see it a little better from this. From this angle, right there. That's that side. And then this side is just up there, right down to that other fitting. So yeah, pretty simple. I mean, it looks really complicated, but it's it's not that that bad. It was actually, I remember there was somebody that uh, commented on one of my videos and was asking how, the I would think it was the one on the boost controller, how the boost controller, uh, uh, all the vacuum lines were hooked up. And this is, this is literally all you need. You got the two wastegate lines and uh, they both merge to one and then that one goes to, uh, to the intake manifold. So, This one right here, this way state, and then if I can get this, this the other way skates down there hidden right there, and then that just merges in the middle to the center one, this uh, brass fitting, this T, and that one goes. To the vacuum i mean to the that one goes to the intake manifold and then if you have your boost controller like like electronic boost controller then uh, this one i believe th this one goes to the boost controller and then the other one from the boost controller goes to the intake manifold sometimes it looks a little complicated when it's when this is on the car for some people even for me like uh i get confused sometimes when i'm looking at all this in the car just because there's so much stuff going on, but you just got the two wastegates, they both merge to one, and then to the intake manifold, and that would just be whatever your wastegate pressure is, and on this one should be like 10 PSI. And now, I'm gonna get this off the engine stand, get it on the engine hoist, uh, put the clutch on, and maybe if I got enough time, put the transmission on, because it's starting to get pretty late. All right, so got the clutch on there now, but I don't remember where I left uh, my clutch alignment tool at, so probably gonna look for it tomorrow, and I'll yeah, I'll get back to you guys tomorrow once I find find that because I don't want to put this uh, tighten this all up without aligning it. I mean, I got it pretty close. I can feel like the outer edges of it and. It's pretty even, but I'd feel more comfortable if I use the alignment tool. So I'll be back to you guys in the morning once I get that. All right guys, so it's the next day and 
I got the clutch alignment tool. I ended up having to go to Concept Z to get this. Uh, it was only four bucks. I know I have one here somewhere, but couldn't find it. Ended up just going to get this. I mean, now I can get this all put back together. But that's gonna be for the next video. I'm gonna end this one right now, otherwise it's gonna be way too long. So the next one will be a continuation. I'm gonna put the transmission on, get the engine put in the car, and hopefully get this all assembled in the next video. So hope you guys are enjoying. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.